Is it the right time to buy or sell Upstart stock? Today, we're delving deep into Upstart. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, November 9, 2023. Now, we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. It's crucial not to miss any updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and access free price predictions and deep analysis for over 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please remember that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Upstart has been ranked as a strong sell candidate in our system since November 8, 2023, with a score of minus 5.81. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. The stock has experienced a loss of minus 1.22%. This means that on average, it has been losing minus 0.61% per day since it was categorized as a strong sell candidate. The stock has recently broken a significant downward trend, indicating a potential decline. While there may be temporary fluctuations, there is a realistic possibility of further decrease. Any rebounds to the breaking point of $21.45 should be seen as a second opportunity to exit. It's important to note that according to the fan theory, the new bottom line of the next trend could be around $13.14, although it is too early to confirm this. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a projected change of approximately minus 23.42% over the next three months, with a potential return ranging from minus 22.24% to 7.87%. On the other hand, the 12-month trend suggests a significant 41.77% change over the next year, with a potential return between 41.77% and 428.11%. This translates to a price range of $29.94 to $111.54 after 12 months. Our latest update for Upstart brings you the headline, Red Day on Thursday for Upstart. On Thursday, November 9, 2023, the stock price of Upstart experienced a decline of 1.22%, dropping from $21.38 to $21.12. Throughout the trading day, the stock fluctuated by 8.5%, reaching a low of $20.95 and a high of $22.73. Although the price has risen in 6 out of the last 10 days, it is still down by 8.73% during this period. Interestingly, the volume of shares traded also decreased on the last day, which is typically considered a positive sign as volume should follow the stock. Specifically, the trading volume fell by 12 million shares, with a total of 11 million shares being bought and sold for approximately $232.00 million. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest price of Upstart stock was $72.57, while the lowest price was $11.93. Currently, the price is 70.9% lower than the 52-week high, amounting to a difference of $51.45. Moreover, it is 94.74% lower than the all-time high reached on October 15, 2021, when the price peaked at $401.49. Today, let's discuss the latest analyst ratings for UPST, the online lending platform. Starting with the most recent rating, on November 8, 2023, Piper Sandler gave UPST a neutral grade with a hold action. Back in September 25, 2023, Needham also provided a rating for UPST, giving it a hold grade with an initialize action. Going further back to June 14, 2023, BTIG gave UPST by grade with an initialize action. On May 10, 2023, Stevens had a different opinion and gave UPST an underweight grade with a hold action. Interestingly, on the same day, May 10, 2023, Piper Sandler also rated UPST as neutral with a hold action. Upstart stock has been given a general by rating by analysts. The P-E ratio and price to book are both rated as strong buy. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a rating of neutral. 
Here are the key signals for upstart. We have a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. However, there are also some negative signals that could impact the stock's short-term performance. Both short- and long-term moving averages are indicating sell signals, which paints a more negative outlook for the stock. Furthermore, the long-term average is currently above the short-term average, generating a general sell signal. In terms of resistance levels, we have $26.22 and $26.44. If the stock breaks above either of these levels, it would trigger a buy signal. On Friday, November 3, 2023, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point, leading to a decline of minus 30.34% so far. It is expected that the stock will continue to fall until a new bottom pivot is found. It's worth noting that the volume of trading decreased along with the price during the last trading day, which reduces the overall risk. Typically, volume should follow price movements. If you're interested, here are some other signals to consider. The moving average convergence divergence indicator shows a buy signal. Pivots indicate a sell signal 5 days ago. Bollinger bands suggest a buy signal 13 days ago. The short-term moving average indicates a sell signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average also suggests a sell signal 3 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages shows a buy signal 2 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart. The short-term moving average indicates a sell signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average shows a buy signal 49 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal 48 days ago. Make sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for upstart. Currently, there is no significant support from accumulated volume below today's level. This means that under certain conditions, the stock may not perform well in the next couple of days. It's important to be aware of this potential downside. Upstart is a stock that can experience significant movement throughout the day, making it quite volatile. Additionally, the Bollinger Band indicates a wide prediction interval, classifying this stock as high risk. Looking at the recent data, the stock had a price difference of $1.78 between its highest and lowest points, which accounted for 8.5% of its value. Over the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 8.38%. Before we delve into the potential favorable trading levels for Upstart, let's first discuss some important fundamental data. Firstly, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This critical ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. If a company has a negative P-E ratio, it means they have negative earnings or they are losing money. It's not uncommon for established companies to experience downturns, often due to external factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios could indicate insufficient profitability and potential risks of bankruptcy. In other news, the upcoming earnings report for Q4 2023 is expected to be released on February 12, 2024. Today, we're going to analyze the potential day trading levels for Upstart. If the stock follows an upward trend, the first resistance level for upstart is at $21.38. If you don't currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait until this level is surpassed before entering a position. However, if you're already holding the stock, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. It's important to note that there isn't a significant support from accumulated volume below. This means that the stock could potentially experience a sharp drop under certain conditions. If you're considering trading in this situation, exercise caution and be mindful that it may require the expertise of an experienced trader to navigate such scenarios. The combined average rating for upstart from multiple analyst sources is a buy. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On November 6, 2023, Dutta Sanjay sold 1,000 shares of common stock. On November 2, 2023, Darling Scott sold 280 shares of common stock. Also on November 2, 2023, Darling Scott sold 200 shares of common stock. On October 30, 2023, 
Dutta Sanjay sold 1,000 shares of common stock. And on October 24, 2023, Darling Scott sold 520 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 67.609. Overall, insiders purchased 1,938,752 shares and sold 306,274 shares in the last 100 trades. Unfortunately, we have a negative evaluation for this stock and it is important to note that no stop loss has been set. Is Upstart stock a good buy? Unfortunately, Upstart holds several negative signals and is currently experiencing a wide and falling trend. As a result, we anticipate that it will continue to perform weakly in the near future. However, upon analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems have determined that the current price of Upstart is undervalued. Looking ahead to trading on Friday, November 10, we predict that Upstart will open up $0.480 and start trading at $21.60. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading carries a high risk of financial loss. Always consult a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we're going to take a closer look at the current view of this stock. We value your opinion, so be sure to share your thoughts in the comments below. What's your target for this stock? We're eager to hear from you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Wishing you successful trading and a fantastic day from all of us here at Stock Invest.